Latoni got some of the biggest buzz right now, but nobody really gives him the credit he deserves. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about where exactly did Lil Tony come from? How did he get this sound? And why I feel like he's one of the most underrated artists out right now in the underground. So let's take it back to the west side of Atlanta, where Lil Tony is from. Lil Tony's like 20 or 19 right now. So during this time, he probably like 16, 15. Going all the way back to 2020, quarantine, that's when Lil Tony started rapping. He seen one of his homeboys rapping one day, and he decided, you know what? Let me pick up my phone. Let me download BandLab and see what I can do. And the first few songs songs that he made was trash they was terrible but the thing is he didn't stop he just kept going because he just loved the fact about rap and nobody was taking him serious until he made the song called Quagan with Prophet Child and the song was going crazy but the way how it blew up was through Instagram and during this time nobody really thought that TikTok was gonna be as big as it was so when Lil Tony posted on IG he didn't think he was gonna get the amount of engagement that he was getting it went from a thousand to about five thousand likes and as the lights kept going up he got to about a hundred thousand views on an IG video but after this song he did exactly what he was supposed to do just keep dropping so during the time being he was just getting more and more engagement and while he was dropping multiple songs and multiple tapes that next year he said that he was getting calls from record labels back to back and the one that he eventually signed to was priority Records. and that was a huge thing for Lil Tony at the time because he was just making songs on band lab at first he started using United Masters all that money that he was getting paid every month to invest in himself and eventually he got himself signed the production kept getting better with Lil Tony he also developed this aggressive flow that he was using and what you call his music during that time was get money music and that's when you seen Lil Tony changed in a good way because in 2023 his whole life changed. He already had a solid fan base. He was known in ATL. Interviews was dropping. A lot of music was dropping but this year solidified Lil Tony's career. Because Lil Tony was just branching out everywhere. You started to hear more about him. Bro was on TikTok. I mean he wasn't on TikTok but I'm saying like every song that he made was on there because females was dancing. Everybody was messing with him. But everything boosted up once he started making music with Lil RT because he was one of the first people to make some music with Lil Bro. And that's how you see him get so much new engagement because the whole thing with him making songs with Lil RT was so controversial. Lil RT had a huge buzz during that time. Everything that he did was blowing up. And that's when the interviews, music videos, all of that came into place with Lil Bro. And Lil Tony was just building up his catalog too. He was dropping music during that time. And one of my favorite tapes that dropped in 2023 because he dropped hella songs but, but two sides to every story is where I kind of started engaging with Lil Tony even more. But yeah, in 2023, it really wasn't one song that blew Lil Tony up. He kind of had a different everybody because even before he had a fan base but when he started dropping music with Lil RT that just gradually brung in more people and before everybody found out about him before the RT situation he was already pulling like 500k to a mil views on a lot of his videos and 2023 ended off really good with Lil Tony he was coming into 2024 with 500k monthly listeners he been performing a lot more than usual two sides to every story deluxe didn't drop and he been staying on top of his music video staying consistent with just music in general bro and there's a lot of info that I'm probably missing but bro if I talked about that that would be a whole documentary Documentary, damn. But I do want to get to the part where I talk about why Lil Tony isn't respected as he should be. The same way we give Glock 40, Laser Them, Baby Kia, Two Solid Dirt Balls. There's so many rappers I can name on the top of my head, but you know the underground scene that I'll talk about. Why isn't he involved in that conversation? I really feel like it's because there's so many scenes in the underground when it comes to Atlanta. Y'all know how we talk about Fagos and Ken and all of them. It's a whole different side of rap that we don't even chat about, like Two Solid Dirt Ball and Lil Tony. Nobody really talk about them for it. But somebody from ATL know exactly who they are. Are. They got a whole fan base. They really know, them, but we just don't talk about it. Like Dirt Ball, Baby Drill, and Lil Tony and them, bro. They don't have aesthetics. They not trying to wear all black and be opium, man. You know what I'm saying? They really to themselves. That's why you don't see YouTube videos about them for real. The only time people talk about them is when they trend. Cause dudes like Lil Tony deserve the recognition. He really know how to rap. You know what I'm saying? And I've been known about this scene, but I just wasn't talking about it, y'all. And that's my fault. But y'all let me know why y'all feel like Lil Tony is so underrated. But it's D U T I E. I'm not sitting to myself for no bitch. Don't forget to follow my kick and my IG right now. But I love y'all so much. Y'all stay blessed. Peace.